Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Robert Stark Phoenix again, and today is part three of my Stardew Valley tutorial. Uh, we're picking up where we left off in the mines. We had just completed a level 10 of the mines and picked up our wonderful leather boots, which gives us defense and immunity to the poison that the slimes will have a little bit. Uh, we picked up a lot of good artifacts. I, I didn't notice before, but we picked up this cherry bomb, the little uh, the crabs and the little um, Duggies, the thing that look like the Pokemon. Um, we'll drop these on as well. These are basically, you can use these to blow up uh, rocks. So it's really nice we have a cherry bomb. But anyway, let's go ahead and head back to the farm. Now, once we hit level five, every five levels we activate the, uh, the elevator. So because we passed level five, level five is available, level 10 is available. So this will let us bypass levels and fast travel. So now, um, as far as everything I collected here, what I want to leave behind, I'm going to leave behind my algae for food, leave behind the knife, leave behind the bomb, and I'm going to leave behind the dagger because I can, I'll, I'll, I'm going to use that dagger because hell, it's freaking awesome. You guys saw me killing everything, but everything else we're going to take with us, and then we're going to go ahead and head back home. Like I said, you want to be leaving the mines about 10 o'clock. If you didn't make level 10 like I did, at least level 5, and... I've got 31 copper, which is really good. You should hopefully have at least 25. Oh, look. i got a leak. Nice. Bonus. I love this RNG too. Man. And there's a wiggler right there. And it's kind of hard to see, but... Bonus. I like bonus. And again, we're going to drop everything we want to keep. So we're going to do that. We're going to do those. We're going to do that, do that, do that, 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 those, that, that, one of those, and that. Now I'm going to show you with this bug meat here real quick. Um, if you go into crafting, you have a bait. One piece of bug meat makes five bait. So 45 bait. I'm going to take that with me next time I go fishing. Add it. My fishing rod, so that's how you make bait for yourself. That's the best way to do it. In a crisis, you can earn it from, uh, uh, you can go buy it from Willy. I'm going to grab a couple pieces of slime. And I'm going to sell those along with one acorn. As I said, we want to try to keep about two, or, we want to at least keep two up here, so I'm going to take two acorns. I'm going to sell the crab and the leek, and that'll give us a little bit extra money for today. Now, the downside to, uh, downside to, the uh, the mines and sometimes you don't have a lot of stuff to sell that day. So go to sleep, and with some luck you should have a mining upgrade and you can build your own cherry bombs. And with more luck you might even get a combat upgrade. So and you see, I didn't make that much money, only two hundred. Um. Okay, y'all, uh, if that seemed like an awkward break in there, if you saw the animation kind of flickered with the clouds and everything, it's because I had to get up and do an emergency bio break, so I apologize about that. All right, so we're going to pick up where we left off. Um, now, since we're going on day seven here, uh, it's Sunday. Now, we have to remember, if we look, if we remember our calendar, uh, it's going to be Lewis's birthday today. Uh, we would like to give him a gift if possible. But we may not have anything to give him, which is not a huge deal. But we should have our potatoes today, so we can give him one of the potatoes as a gift. I know it seems kind of funny to do that, but um, it'll help out. We want to try to catch everybody on their birthday if possible and give them something. And it's going to rain all day tomorrow. That's actually going to be useful. Spirits are kind of displeased today. Now, we also have Queen of Sauce. Now, Queen of Sauce is something new for you. Um, she teaches you recipes. You do want to learn them. Uh, because, uh, one, it's something in the game you can cook various foods for yourself. Some of them are really useful. And two, they can make good gifts. But mainly it's just because you want to collect them for the hell of it. And it doesn't hurt anything. I mean, you can do it while you watch TV. So, stir fry. And then once you learn the recipes, um, I can't remember, yeah, well they don't show up anywhere where you can look at them real easy, 
I can remember. But um, they're cooking eventually when you um, get a certain thing, when you get a certain expansion to your house, you actually get a kitchen to cook. I just wanted to see if I could see it. Alright, so Clint, now because we got the ore, Clint's going to come in here. He's basically going to say, okay, you got to build a furnace. He'll give you plans for a furnace. So the furnace requires 20 copper and 25 stone. Oh, guess what? We had 20 copper and 25 stone. So build one. And then just plant it somewhere. And then take, while you're holding copper and coal in your inventory, select your copper and right click on it. There you go. Yeah, because it even tells you up here, smelting. Now that you built the furnace, do that. that. Deeper in the mines, okay. Now you gotta go level 40 in the mine. Uh, the archaeology thing, I'm not worried about that right now. Delivery, don't forget to give Pam the parsnip that we were gonna give her. Uh, oh, I don't have the parsnip. Oh crap. Did I use it? I did, I used it for something else. Well, that sucks. Okay, well, she's not gonna get her parsnip all off. We just gonna end up uh, just blowing ourselves up. Alright, the other thing that we didn't do, which we should do right now, you want your fiber, your wood, and your coal. I don't have enough wood. Okay. I don't have enough wood, I gotta go get 10 more wood anyway. Um, Alright, I'll build it up. Okay, let me go water first. But yeah, you wanna, you wanna build your uh, scarecrow now. And don't forget to pick your potatoes. This little potato down here is going to be an annoyance, but... So you do that, journal's updated, and it doesn't show anything in here because the reward is you learn how to smelt. If you have enough copper, go ahead and keep doing it. If you're close by, you can go ahead and do it. Um, we are going to have to plant the cauliflower seeds, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. But I am going to cut the, cut the wood down first. Now for this particular one, I'm only going to cut enough wood that I need. So we'll just cut these little stumps real quick. And one tree. We want enough wood just to be able to build the, uh... We want enough wood to build our Scarecrow. And you want to put the Scarecrow someplace that's not going to get in the way. So, uh, we're going to put you here. We're going to put our cauliflowers here. And, alright, I'm going to clear these out of the way because I want them home. And I'm going to build one more stretch right here. And I'm going to put my last cauliflower here. And I'll get a few more. I'm going to have to go buy a few more then. Um, so I'm going to go buy four more cauliflowers just to make it even. Let me check this. Okay, Marlin says, okay, now you got to slay ten slimes and you'll be an adventurer. Um, you want to check that, though, sometimes. Initiation. Every once in a while, for some reason, you have to kill the crabs instead of the slimes. I don't know what causes that, but you want to double check that. All right, so we're going to run over to the town. I'm not going to check up there. I'll check it on my way back because I have to run back to the farm anyway. Because um, I have to go pick up uh, spring onions. All right, no quest today. 
I guess I'm gonna buy just four of these. Sell the one potato. Um, okay. Sell that. Alright, so I got about 2,000 gold. That's actually really good. I could use a little bit more, but... Check the trash cans real quick. Go visit Marabulus. He should be inside his house around front. And good morning. Here, have a potato. Remember my birthday, thank you. Talk to him. Now you get a big boost when you give them stuff on their birthday. See, like, Lewis is on top now because not only did you remember his birthday, you got, like, a boost to the relationship, so he's going to have an extra, a little bit of something there for, the, for his birthday. So that's, that's how you build up your relationships. You complete your quest and remember everybody on their birthday. You try to give them something decent. Okay, so we'll go back. We'll plant the rest of the cauliflowers. And I'll go ahead and clear these. Pam, I'm sorry, I'm just I'm not gonna have a parsnip, so I'm just gonna have to fail you. You are failed. Oh crap, Jody's right there. I'll grab this though. Come on, Jody, walk away, don't walk away, walk away. Oh, I didn't. God, I thought she, I thought she was gonna see it. All right, well we got a daffodil out of the deal. Daffodil yo. We're gonna go check for more spring onions. Um, gonna have to, gonna have to pray here that we get a good amount. If we don't get enough spring onions, um, if I don't get enough spring onions, I may just go to fishing instead. But I hope I have enough here to make some progress in the mine. Uh, it's gonna be questionable. Might be a little questionable. I don't have anything else. I've got a couple of things up in the box at the in the mine. I think I left some algae up there, so I have a little bit of extra something. But my energy is already pretty low too. That's the other problem because we had to do so much today. But I'm going to give it a shot anyway. Now we are going to get up there kind of late, but. I said the goal here now is to try to get it to level 15 and find more copper. Alright, there we go. Put this in here for now. Okay, we have more spring onions here. I happen to have a few extra, so this is actually going to help. Alright, we eat the silver one now. And we're gonna do run, run, run away. Alright, so if I get to the mine by roughly about one, I should be okay. I know myself I can probably do another five levels. Like I said, if you have if you didn't hit level five now, you definitely want to get to level ten. For sure. If you hit level ten, you wanna to try to get to level fifteen. There's a leak here. I'm gonna grab that. I might need that energy. It's a gold one too, dang. I don't know if I'm going to eat that one or not. <laughs> it's gonna be worth a lot of money. So I'll have to make up my mind later. It depends on how desperate I am. But we're gonna do the same thing we did last time. I'm, since I've got that dagger, I'm gonna make space for the dagger and we're gonna carry it. And we're gonna take our bomb with us too. That's gonna to be very, very helpful. All right, so level 11, here we go. Curses. Then you run into these buggers. If you start seeing the oh crap, 
Monsters everywhere. Alright, you know what? He dropped the what? He dropped the diamond? Are you kidding me? Okay, um, I didn't know Dougie's dropped diamonds. There's the oops, don't want to do that. Yeah, you see, you're probably gonna be using the sword like I just did there, so. That's how long it takes to kill a slime, and it's only if you're quick with it. Okay, um... Algae? <coughs> Go ahead and eat it. Next level? Remember, you have to kill ten of these buggers. Remember to do that on your way through. And this level here is a train track, so you actually don't have to waste your energy breaking rocks unless you find a copper. Because uh, there's an automatic exit at the end of it. The one thing you want to do is right click that. Get that coal that comes out of it. And then this next area is a giant sandbox. Literally. It's a giant sandbox. This is where you can use up your energy trying to find a way out. And if you find these, these are crystals. They take a little bit more energy to pop open, but make sure you grab them. Oops. Yeah, don't hit those gray rocks like I just did. Too much energy wasted. Oh, a pair of sneakers. Oh, nice. There we go. There's the way out. Got all the slimes we needed. Oh, an earth crystal. Excellent. And there's some copper right there. Now these torches here, you can't dig those up, but it requires the energy to uh, swing your pickaxe. Eat a couple of spring onions. And I eat these algaes. Level 15 looks like it's going to be reachable. I'm going to be at 14 here in a sec. Don't do that, star. Oh my god. These crystals, man. <laughs> and sometimes the regular rocks will drop coppers too, so that'll be really nice. Now your goal is, after you build the furnace, you want to collect uh, a minimum of 25 more copper. That's a bare minimum that you need. Alright, we need to eat the algae. Eat some spring onions. some ungodly luck today. <laughs> Except for finding the ladder all of a sudden. It seems not to want to show itself unless it's already open somewhere. Speaking of which, yeah, I don't recommend wasting time on killing the slimes too much if you don't have a better weapon than the sword because, uh, yeah, it takes a while. But I'm kind of abusing the, uh, yeah, I'm kind of abusing this trident that I found. If you, like I say, if you get lucky and find a weapon like that, by all means, abuse the heck out of using it. Alright, so 
today what I want to do is not spend... I want to try to get out of here by 9 because I want to... I'm trying to see if there's any copper anywhere around here. Alright, so you want to try to get out of here by 9 o'clock. The reason why is I want to go visit Marlin today. Because I want to unlock the whole little thing with him. All right, so we're gonna put the bomb back. And we'll put these here. Put that back. Um, we're gonna take the carving knife with us because we're gonna go sell it to Marlin. And uh, everything else, we're actually in really good shape. I cannot lie. Now the Adventurers Guild is literally right next door to the mines, but they they have very limited hours. They only open between 2 p.m. and 10 p.m. So, but once you get in here, um, you talk to Marlin, he doesn't do anything special. But see, he sells us some stuff that you can buy if you really need it. Like, if you want a better weapon, you can buy the 250 gold wooden blade that is stronger than your rusty sword. Uh, he sells sneakers, but you don't need to buy them because you probably have the leather boots by the time you see them. Any sneakers, you notice the sneakers, you sell them for 50. And this carving knife, I can sell that for 100. The only place you can sell these, by the way. And, um, yeah, I'm going to keep the sword because because um, you guys will still have it, most likely. And then he sells these rings. Weapon precision and uh, knockback. The weapon precision thing is a little misguided. Um... But basically, it's it's just a minor boost to your swinging ability. And then the thing here it says knockback. It just makes it so when you hit something, it falls back, it flies back a little bit further. You have more of a chance of doing it. The iron dirk is a nice little dagger here, but again, it's kind of weak. This would be the best thing if you had to buy something by this. And he does buy the the buggy and the slime. And then if you talk to his board here, you get this quest. Of various things. So, like, if you kill certain amounts of things, you get stuff. The big thing here is to kill the cave insects here. This is the best one to do, and I'll show you why, hopefully. And then you talk to this guy here. This is Gil. This is his friend. Um, if you complete the board, he'll give you the he'll give you the rewards. There's nothing else in here with them. That's it. They're just basically there. Um, most of the stuff he sells, you probably won't want to buy. But uh, in the at least in the single player game, unless you're really having trouble and you just want something better, and then I'll tell you which weapons you should buy. So like I said, at that point, up to level 10 or 15, the wooden sword's probably your best bet if you really want the better weapon besides your rusty sword, because like I said, the rusty sword's kind of weak. Otherwise, um, hold on to your rusty sword. When you get down to level 20, you'll be able to get a replacement weapon. That's marginally better. And then plus he sells other weapons too. Alright, so we got the copper. Um, one earth crystal, one topaz. Um, keep those, keep that. Put that away for right now. And I'm going to sell the rest. Actually, the cool thing about the torches, if you do happen to pick them up in the uh, mines, you can put them there and they'll give you a little bit of light. Alright, um, not a whole lot of energy left. Good place to stop, so we'll go ahead and remember to pet your dog. And we'll go to sleep. And we got that level 1 combat. Now, you, now combat, you'll get these crafting recipes for various um, uh, rings and things. Um, most of them generally aren't super useful because the, by the time you get to figuring out how to make them, you'll either come across something better or you want to use a different um, item entirely. However, it's not a bad idea to use some of these. It just depends on your situation. But um, yeah, you'll get a little bit of extra hit points when you level up your combat, so it'll let you take more damage, which is always nice. Alright, now here's a gut check. 
situation here for you. All right, so start of day eight. Tomorrow's a sunny day. Spurs are very happy today, living off the land. And he's talking about fences and stuff. Um, fences aren't too useful just yet, at least to me. Um, okay, we, we want to make more copper. This is why I call this gut check time, okay? So here's the thing. If you have at least 2,000 gold, check. And if you happen to have enough to make five copper bars, then today you want to upgrade your axe, this thing. Make it a copper axe. It is very, very important. If you don't have it by this point, then either um, you need to make an emergency trip to the mines today, or you need to forge like crazy and find more money, or start chopping down trees and sell wood or something. Anything to make the money that you need. Um, it's, it would be, it's pretty crappy if you're stuck in that situation, but if you're doing everything the way we have been up to this point, you should be in good shape. Now what today should be, today should be a mining, uh, not a mining day for you. Today should be a fishing day for you because now you want to start fishing really hard again because you want to get that level 5 fishing. So today is the day you should be able to make level 5 fishing. You should. You may not be able to, but you should. Alright. So I'm going to replace out my stuff. I'm not going to use my sword today. And I don't need my... Um, watering can. Um, I am going to take my axe because I am going to still chop down some trees. I want to chop this big one down the other way. If you happen to have a big one right here, go ahead and get rid of it. And chop down at least one more. You don't have to do three of them. You don't have to get the 50 wood anymore. Just chop down a couple of trees. This just helps your foraging to go along and lets you just collect some wood without burning up too much of your energy. And then I'm just going to walk around and chop down a few weeds while I'm at it. Not too many. I know I don't want to spend too much time doing it, just enough to just clean up some minor stuff. Alright, so at this point, your path might diverge slightly from mine. So I'm actually in the position. I have the copper. I have my axe. And I have a buttload of bug meat. And I have an artifact, so I'm going to go visit Gunther today too. This is how you combine stuff. You want to make sure that you combine your effort whenever possible. I can't remember if I gave him a topaz and a quartz. So I'm going to take that with me. Right, I'm going to put this stuff on the bottom here just so I don't have to look at it. And I'm going to convert all of my bug meat to bait. 85 total bait. Awesome. I've got my fishing rod already up in the box up there, so I have to worry about it. Um, I'm going to take my five copper bars with me, and I'm going to take my axe. Because um, we're going to go get that upgrade. The axe is the most important upgrade at this point reason is is that um, it's going to help you save a lot of energy on trees, but it'll also start letting you clear off the big stumps that are on the farm to collect hardwood. And you're going to need a lot of hardwood. Um, of course you want more copper, but we'll work on the mines later. Because uh, the mining is another thing that we're going to have to kind of work on a little bit differently. Uh, also, too, bring these with you. I'm going to bring the earth crystal so I can't remember. Bring the geodes with you. Any geodes that you have, bring those with you too. Because uh, we're going to have uh, Clint break them open for us. If you have enough money, if you're going to see Clint today to break your, um, to make your axe, then by all means, take everything with you. If you're kind of close on the money, um... Try to find enough to maybe get the 2,000 you need. Like the spring onions, if you have to, you can get those and sell them to Pierre if you get lucky with the forgeables, etc., etc., etc. Otherwise, you can take some other stuff and sell it, like 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 the daffodil. I could sell this too to Pierre. I'm gonna drop this in the box. 
So like I said, this is a gut check moment for you. I'll go ahead and drop this. Let's see what this says. Okay, then Robin's talking about making a well for your farm. Um, which is actually not a bad idea because it'll let you move around your farm better. But yeah, I always take my scythe with me just because I'm just going to clear this path as grass is grown back. We're going to go get more spring onions or try to. You still want to do this part no matter what. You still want to go look at spring onions. Oh, look at this. Got a horseradish. You still want to try to grab the spring onions. And the RNG will reset out here too so the forest will have some other uh, goodies for you to find. Like I said, at this point, after you get the spring onions, if you're not going to follow my path, then run around the forest, look for more forageables, you know, pick up whatever you can. If you're really dire short on money, um, try to make as much money you can, like I said, chop down trees if you have to. You can sell the wood at the end of the night. Um, you might be a day behind on... You're, gonna, you're probably going to be a day behind me at this point. But if you're able to make the money, then go run to Clint. Make sure you get the Clint before 4 o'clock. And then give him your axe and your copper and the 2,000 gold. If you're short on the copper, run to the mines after that. Go get the copper and then try to, you know, take your copper bars with you. No, don't take the copper bars with you. Um, take the, you know, take what you can with you. Try to run up there real fast. Like, you should get there by, like, 10 or something. And then, um, hopefully you get done by 2 o'clock, get back to the farm, have time to smelt, and get done with it by, you know, get, be able to get there by 4, hopefully. Because if you end up a day behind, don't panic. Just, uh, modify your run as best as you can. So, yeah, we're going to talk to Gunther again. I give him this. I always put this up here because I like to put the scrolls up here. It's just a weird thing of mine. Alright, so I got three more. Now, the rewards that he gives you, you don't have to take them right away. So don't think that you have to grab them. He will hold on to them until you're ready to take them. Alright, so talk to Clint. Process geodes first. Now, sometimes it's not going to feel like it's worth the 25 gold. Sometimes you get some interesting stuff like that. Wow, we got 10 coppers there. This is why you want to bring... You, you can bring your geodes here even if you're not having him do it. You might get enough copper this way. So I picked up 11 coppers. That would be enough for two bars right now. And, uh... Yeah, I'm in pretty decent shape. Um, oh yeah, where am I going? Uh, okay. Upgrade tools. Copper axe. Go and I'm gonna go take these other two artifacts that I just got because well they're crit they're they're minerals but they're still count as artifacts. And I'm gonna go give these to Gunther as well. This is another reason why you want to do that because it'll give you these stones you normally can't find anywhere else. So yeah, you can leave the rewards with Gunther; they'll never go away. So like I said, if you're following me up to this point, like I said, you're in good shape. Go ahead and get yourself set up for your fishing now. Wow, got another one? Cool. The, forage, the forageables sometimes surprise the heck out of me. I'm going to go take a brief detour, go check the uh, quest board, if you get a quest. Also to remind myself, Vincent's birthday is on Wednesday, so I want to try to remember to get him something. George wants an earth crystal. I think I have one more at the farm, so I'll hit yes. And if not, whatever. And so it doesn't do anything bad if you miss it. It'd be kind of crappy if it did. <laughs> But if I have one, then hell, it's nice. Now sometimes too, you might get a quest from Willy about catching a certain amount of fish. Or you might get a quest from Clint saying to get a certain amount of ores. So if you get those, those are actually very cheesy. But they're good for money because not only do you get to keep the items, uh, they give you the money to go with the items. Right. Let's go ahead and get my... Big rod. Make sure I get the fiberglass rod. And we're going to put our 85 bait on a rod. And we're going to go fishing. So like I said, if you're up, if you've kept, if you've kept up with me at this point, what you're working on now is level five fishing.
and hopefully with some luck we will get level 5 today. So now that you're probably good with fishing, you should focus on as many perfects as you can possibly handle. And catch as many treasure boxes as you can. Oh, I just messed that perfect up. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I probably shouldn't fish up here in the rain. Uh, I gotta warn you, if you fish up here in the rain, you're bound to run into a uh, very nasty fish. Um, if it happens, don't panic. There is a fish that lives in this lake. It's a level 11 fish. Yeah, you heard me. A, a level 11. Um... You, he will humiliate you the first time you see him. There's absolutely no way to catch him at your current level. You're just simply not good enough. Nice. I get the box. There you go. I just thought about that. I should be fishing down at the river instead, but because now's a good time for me to try to catch catfish. This is still the best place to go, you just lose a couple of pieces of bait in the process when that sucker shows up. If he shows up. If he doesn't, consider yourself lucky. Oh, hey, you notice I'm starting to get goldfish. If you cast as close to the max as you can, it helps improve the potential quality of the fish you're going to catch. So you start catching goldfish at this point. Which is really good for you because they're worth the most. And I'm catching a pretty good amount of bass, which is really, really nice because the bass are worth a good amount of money. So it's going to put me in really, really good position. Normally on a rain day at this point, I would say to not fish, but because it's the day that it is, fishing is what you should be doing. After after today on the game, um, starting on Tuesday the 9th, that's when your path is probably going to severely diverge from mine, depending on what you need or what you want to do. But if you're following me exactly, you'll. If you're gonna follow me exactly on here, then you'll try to do what I'm gonna do. Our next quest now is to get you know, enough copper to build a few things. We're actually gonna build a second furnace on top of everything else we're gonna do on the farm. And then we're gonna go clear a big patch of land like boss. So the more perfect you get at this point, the better. If all goes well, like I said, you should get level 5. Level 5 is going to be a major, major turning point here in your fishing money. Oh, we got a box. Fire course, now that's rare too. Alright, let's put that bait on. Look at that, we got 200 baits still. I'm lucking out on the bait so much in this run. As I said, I, what, if you're relatively new or even if you're experienced, you can play this game and be like, you're probably going to have like this god awful RNG and you can be like, how come my run can't be like yours, Star? 
I swear, there's no controlling that. It, like the next RNG could be completely rotten for me. Like, I might not be, might not be even half of the progress I've got because of the RNG. But yeah, but just literally fish this whole day away, rain or shine, because you need to. Like I said, you definitely, you desperately need level five fishing if you can do it today. Unless, like I said, unless you're short on something else, and if you're in the mines right now, or you're running around looking for money, chopping trees like a boss. Uh, like I said, your path might be diverging a little bit at this point. Okay, there's bubbles. Let me see if I can reach them from here. <clears throat> yep, there, oh, I shot it too high. Alright, I gotta pull down when I do that next time. Yes, yeah, so I don't worry if your path diverges from mine a little bit. And at this point, I see your progress, your progress probably wasn't anywhere near close to where I was at, so I said, don't feel bad if that's the case. You might actually even be ahead of me, too. I have no idea. It could very well be that you're way ahead of me at this point. And congratulations if you are. So yeah, in the middle of casting, hold down. There you go. Got the blue sparkles. Like I said, this is just going to give us more fish. This is so completely lucky right now. This is definitely going to help us get level 5 faster. Yeah, you, after you click to do the cast, you have to hold down while you're holding the mouse button to get it to change direction. Same is true if it was like a little bit higher, I would hold up. Or if you're facing up or down, you would hold left or right the same way. But yeah, this is going to definitely give me a lot of fish. It's actually kind of obscene. I've been carped. And we're going to get to the box, of course. Library book and iron ore. Now that's really good. So we found gold and iron a little bit ahead of schedule. It's really nice. Our luck with these bubbles seems to be holding out. And we're fishing like a boss right now. And then the money we're going to make for this... Uh, and we're, we're making money for two different reasons. One, there's a special type of seed we have to buy uh, in about a week in the game. I think it's next Friday that the uh, the egg festival is. So, oh, the bubbles went away. Um, it's, they sell strawberry seeds at that festival. They're crucial to your farming levels. Absolutely crucial. Because your farming levels are pretty low still, and you need to have level 6 farming before the end of the season. And it can be really tough to do. I know you're probably scratching your head like, level what, Star? Are you kidding me? We're only at level one! How are we supposed to get level six in the farming? There's a way to do it. Yeah, that treasure box worked out. Got a chub. Oh crap, I'm out of inventory. Um, goodbye. And goodbye. Well, I'm all filled up. Let's empty out the inventory, shall we? <laughs> Completely empty out the inventory real quick. And we still have time, so I'm going to eat my spring onions and my algae, and I'm going to see fishing. I've got more than enough time. If you happen to have caught up, um, come here and fish. If you have to caught up everything else and you've got time in a day, you've got energy, come here and fish. 
try to come up here and fish if you have everything else done. If you don't have everything else done, please, by all means, keep doing it. Keep doing what you have to do to collect the money and the resources you need to do what I did today. But everything, once you've caught up to all that, you know, try to get, hit this for fishing. If you didn't hit this for fishing today, then um, do it tomorrow. Because your level 5 fishing is very, very critical. And you'll have to forego the mines or whatever else that you plan that I'm going I'm gonna to go to the mines tomorrow. Um but so you won't be going to the mines with me tomorrow. You'll be coming here to fish tomorrow if you didn't do it today. So it'll be your make update tomorrow to try to get your copper axe. Your copper axe is gonna be a day behind me if you didn't get it today, unfortunately. Like you said that's why I said about the path diverging a little bit. And I got a ruby there too, so that's another thing I can give to Gunther. I may not even need any more energy at this point either. I'm getting late on the day. And thankfully the crazy psycho fish didn't show up, so... I didn't have to show you guys that. But we, we're not going to fish up here in the rain anymore after today. Now, if for some strange reason tomorrow's a rain day for you, um, yeah, just fish like I did today. And like I said, land as many perfects as possible, catch as many treasure boxes as you can, all that good stuff. Hey, I like it. <laughs> I'll take it. If you want to give me bait, I will take the bait. Consider me jabated. In the corniest way possible. And more bait. <laughs> Jeez. I've been hovering around 200 this whole time. Okay, I'm almost out of energy, but I do have an algae or two. So, for the fishing today, I'm going to go to about 10.30. So, if you're fishing with me because everything else is caught up, we'll go until 10.30 on the game clock. Okay, so your mileage may vary a little bit, so if you're out of energy, you're going to head back to the farm at this point. But if you're lucky... They said, you've probably eaten some chub and said by now if you have nothing else, you can eat the silver chub, or the regular chub if you have one, for a little bit of extra energy to keep yourself going. You'll want to do that at this point. If you have nothing else to eat. Oh, mother catch. You've caught that many fish. You unlock the achievement for it. I'm going to eat the last of those. Like I said, we're going to go for... We're going to probably get another maybe two to three casts out of this. Hopefully. Maybe. It's possible I'll only get the two, but if I get really lucky, I might get three out of this by 10.30. Okay, it'll depend on how quickly this jiggles. Okay, one more. It's my last one. Alright. Okay, so we're gonna dump everything in the box real quick. Alright, so I wanna grab. Alright, so 
grab two, grab those, grab all those, grab those, grab those, grab those, grab that, grab that, grab that, grab that, grab that, um, grab that, uh, grab that, grab all of those, because more geos. Um, yeah, grab the cockle this time, I'm going to take that, sell it, and grab the wood to take back, take that back. Definitely take the cockle. Alright, that's everything I need. I'll take the fishing rod back with me today, maybe. No, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna do that and take the extra item with me. Okay, let's go. So the fishing rod's perfectly fine up there. Oh, hold on. Got that horse radish right there. You're a rainbow in the dark. I see lightning, and it always gets me down. Alright, so hopefully you've made it back to the farm about this time. It should be just right on the cusp of 12. Um, so put all your materials away. Everything else in here is going to be for sale. So we're going to very quickly drop all of it. This is going to be a huge amount of money. And then we'll take the copper out in the morning. You know. Alright. Level 5, please. Oh. <laughs> okay, so level 3 foraging because of the stuff I picked up in the, in the chopping I did. Level 5 fishing. This is awesome. All right, this is a profession branch. At level 5 and level 10 are profession branches. Um, you have the option to become a trapper, which means instead of the, like the crab pots, um, normally require iron. Uh, this will require copper instead. Uh, for the purposes of what we're going to do, you're going to take fisher with me because um, the fisher, you see here, fish worth 25% more. So all the fish that we catch are going to be worth that much more. It would be very, very critical to make that extra money. And I can't remember, but I think it might actually apply to the ones we just sold today. Not entirely sure. But yeah, you see how much all these fish worth right here? So yeah, I've got 3,000 out of this day. Like I said, your miles may be different. Um, if you were short in the money and you made it up on the fishing today, then you know what you're going to do tomorrow. All right, y'all. So... <laughs> At this very point here, I'm going to stop this particular video. I know this video is shorter than the first two. The reason why is because this is where the pathing is going to diverge a lot. And I want to talk about that in the next video and then discuss what, how to get your path to meet mine again, since you might be a little bit divergent from me at this point. So. I appreciate everybody who is watching these videos. Be sure to hit like. Uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, be sure to hit like on the video on YouTube. If you're on um, Twitch, if you like what you've seen up to this point, please by all means um, let me know. On, uh, let me know on Twitter. Leave a comment on the videos both on YouTube and Twitch and. Um, I will be watching these videos as I broadcast them on Twitch so if and talking to all of you about it. So if you really like it on there too, you know, hit, hit, hit all the subscribes and all the good stuff. I know, I, I'm a little, I'm a bad salesman myself. <laughs> anyway, uh, I will see you all on part four of the video if you're on YouTube and if you're on Twitch, it'll actually be my second video, as weird as that's going to sound. Either way. Thank you very much up to this point, and y'all have yourselves a good day.